the greatest father I've ever known, I've ever met. But now a man who tried to beat bad behavior out of his adopted son is headed to prison for child abuse. Good evening. John Kelly will spend the next three years in prison for the beatings he inflicted on his nine-year-old adopted son. And the child came from an extremely troubled past, and when he began acting out in his new home, Kelly, on advice from his fellow church members, used corporal punishment in an effort to control the boy's actions. Local 12's Rich Jaffe joins us now from the newsroom with this emotional story. Rich. Kit, the courtroom this morning was both emotionally and physically divided. Friends, family, and supporters of John Kelly on one side, professionals from Children's Protective Services, as well as the boy's court-appointed guardian on the other. Extremely religious. When he was arrested, John Kelly told investigators, you have to spank a child until you see the resistance is broken. The prosecutor says that amounted to the worst child abuse bruising case he's ever seen. John Kelly didn't have any criminal history, but he heads to prison as a felony child abuser. Kelly and his wife Angie first fostered, then adopted the boy called Michael. Last April, when the then nine-year-old child, who'd been in eight foster homes and suffers from post-traumatic stress disorder, began acting out, he was taken to a local Kroger store and made to wear this sign saying, I pee on my family if I don't get my way. Kelly's attorney says his client couldn't handle the boy's problems. You know, my client says quite clearly on that form given to CPS, I cannot handle a child with certain psychological issues. And what does Children's Services do? They take a child with these issues, no issues, <coughs> and they place that child with John. Weeks later, the boy ran, and Kelly's world came crashing down. He ran away from his home in the survival mode, hiding behind bushes and ditches, running into a home that he had no clue who was in there or what was in there because he wanted help. And what he wanted help was is to help me make my dad stop hitting me. Just make him stop. These welts were left on Michael's legs by a belt. Pictures of his bruised buttocks are so disturbing we can't show them to you. Caseworkers say the boy was beaten so hard and repeatedly he couldn't sit down for weeks. During the trial, Kelly and his wife signed away their parental rights to him. I just want you to simply know that I love my son. The hardest thing I ever had to do was sign away my boy. Well, as the judge said, corporal punishment is okay. Um, this is abuse. And there's really no way to justify it. And, and the fact that it went on and on, and, and given his background, it just it, it touches you. It, it makes you hurt for him. The day Michael was rescued, both veteran caseworkers and deputies were moved to tears as they tried to comfort and help him. One of John Kelly's nephews told the court that even considering everything that's happened in court, he still thinks John Kelly is the best, most qualified father on the planet. In the newsroom, Rich Jaffe, Local 12 News. Kit. Thank you, Rich. And county workers placed Michael back in his preceding foster home when they removed him from the Kelly's home. His court-appointed guardian says while he still has problems, he has not exhibited any of the behaviors that resulted in the beatings.